hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> So like when I was playing, if I was going to the football game or cricket game, like playing school, you could almost hear the other team. Oh, that's Barry Hanson, you know. And so much so that when I boxed, I had a couple of fights at Billericay Amateur Boxing Club. My dad actually changed my name without me knowing, so that I wouldn't get pasted. What did he change it to? He Hills. <laughs> so when I had my first fight at a gym show in Dagenham, they introduced me in the blue corner from Billericay. Eddie Hills. I was like, <laughs> but I didn't think anything of it. It's only when I had my next fight, which was at Billericay, they introduced me again as Hills. And I went over to my old man after. I said, they keep calling me fucking Hills. He went, son, if they knew you were my son, you'd get an absolute pasty. Yeah. You no, know, because that, to those kids, that's that's why I wouldn't have, you know, one, I didn't have the ability, but two, I could have never made it as a fighter. <laughs> you know what time it is, don't you? Hmm. Hmm. Weapon of the week. Weapon of the week. <laughs> That's right. Weapon of the week. This week's weapon of the week is Dillian White. <laughs> Dillian White, the body snatcher, the can man. Oh, don't seem to be fighting anybody anybody who wants it can get it well joshua wanted it at wembley but he didn't get it did he Ninety thousand fans four belts heavyweight championship of the world and you're going on about rematch clauses and how much you're going to get in a rematch weapon behavior in it but this week weapon behavior is by dillian white for a simple reason he didn't even have the gonads to face mark tibbs not in a phone call not face to face and he's having coogan take videos down and danny flexen on seconds out then videos will be up on tibbs boxing youtube both of them i think the ifl one's already up uh i think the seconds out one will be up this week point is this point i want to make is this mark tibbs is he's one of your own isn't he he's uh you don't see him doing interview after interview after interview like you know your gallagher your Caldwells and people like that he's a background man isn't he mark he's, he he just goes back his job doesn't he but if you can be with somebody from him getting knocked out in 2000 and whatever four or five years ago if you can be with somebody all that time right take them to 11 and 0 improve them as a fighter five knockouts take them to the promised land get them to the mandatory slot with the wbc and the wbo because he were number one in both organizations if you can get them get Dillian into that position you've done your job as a trainer Richard React Porte he's undefeated as well with Mark Tibbs isn't he so look point I want to make is this Mark Tibbs is going to come out this better than Dillian because if Dillian gets beat now people will say well he got beat by Povetkin because he left Mark Tibbs if he goes on to win a world title people can say well mark tibbs got him in position so mark tibbs has come out this smelling of roses look at the reaction on social media now when you've just won a british title i mean i know people that have just won a british title curtis woodhouse he won a british title didn't he did julius francis could you imagine them behaving like Dillian's behaving. Paul Smith won a British title. Smigger Smig. Oh my God. Could you imagine him getting rid of Joe Gallagher via his lawyer? What would people say about Paul Smith? And look, don't forget, Paul Smith fought Andre Ward. He fought Abraham twice for world title. Zuga for a world title. He fought De Galen Groves in British title fight. So fights around that, le around that level. 
And they went on to win world titles, so if Paul Smith got rid of Joe Gallagher via text message or phone call or whatever, and without doing it face to face, he'd get hammered. And Dillian deserves everything he's getting at the moment. Weapon behaviour. Weapon of the week. You should be embarrassed. I mean, who are you surrounding yourself by, Dillian? I keep hearing that two of your main advisors, nobody even knows the second name. And then you've got that mug that put you on MasterChef. <laughs> what were all that about? You ended up fat as a pig Michelin man. This is not good. You're acting like a prima donna. You're acting like you're a big star, Dillian. What's all this setting up YouTube channels, Dillian, and blah de blah and interview after interview on AFL. Get some fighting done. Malcolm Tan, 39-year-old. Brown, 40-year-old. Whack. 40 week year old. Povetkin's 41 week after you fight him. Old men! What next? Pulev? You didn't want to fight Pulev in Bulgaria, did you? They sent you if you had just turned 24 year old out there to fight him. Or about around about his 24th birthday. What's all that about? You've knocked Ortez back twice. You've, you've not been bothered, been bothered about Wilder. You're now screaming for the Fury fight. You're the child that cried wolf. We all know about that, don't we? The boy that cried wolf. Well, Dillian's crying wolf now, isn't he? But it's a bit late in the day when you've been knocking Wembley dates back. Let me just go through that again before I give Robin Reed a shout out. Robin Reed Multivitamins. That's the place to be if you want to be as fit as me and Robin. <laughs> that would cringe, wouldn't it? Point I want to make is this. I'm just going to say it one more time. The heavyweight championship of the world last summer. Joshua there for the taking. The heavyweight championship. Four belts. Rematch. You, you beat him in amateurs. He beat you in pros. A trilogy. You could sell it as Dillian. But nobody really counts that in amateurs, do they? I mean, you was, it, Joshua was stood up, wasn't he, when, you, when he took that count. But point I want to make is this. Four belts, the heavyweight championship of the world. Wembley Stadium. Five and a half million quid. What are you going on about rematch clauses and what your cut will be? Get the fight won and then renegotiate. That's what Ruiz did. Ruiz took the same contract, beat Joshua, then said, I want more money. They renegotiated for Saudi. That could have been you. Who's advising you? Weapon behaviour. Weapon of the week, Dillian White. Boyaka! Peace out, keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing, but Dillian White. Gone down in my gone down gone down in my estimation. Dillian White's gone down in my estimation. Simple reason that you're carrying off like you're a world champion. You've not even fought for a European title yet! Shh, we lose my cool here. Henry Cooper, right? Must be turning in his grave. Looking at, at what's going on here with this heavyweight division here. All we've got are people talking a load of crap on social media. Get the fighting done. Get fighting. You should have fought Joshua last year. You're in no man's land now. Fighting men 40 odd year old. I'm off at Dillian White Express now. I'm totally off it. I wish him all the best. But he's surrounded by gimps from Gimpville Island. Peace out. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright?
Don't forget to subscribe. Keep on trucking.